Hello and welcome back. My name is Amul and you are watching Nish How. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Joomla on Microsoft Windows 10. So no matter what version of Joomla you're going to download and install, the process is going to be the same. At the moment, at the moment it is Joomla 3.9. Okay, 4 is yet to be released and very soon. So there are a few requirements that we need to have on system in order to download and install, basically install Joomla on Microsoft Windows 10. So we need to have a server, Apache or Nginx, a database, MariaDB or MySQL, uh, PHP is by default you need to have it. Okay, so it's server side scripting language for this particular CMS or content management system. So this is kind of softwares or packages that you need to have running on your system, configured and running. Okay. So also a few extensions, PHP extension in order to install Joomla. So that is going to be time consuming if you go ahead and download them one by one. So what I would suggest you go ahead and install XAMPP or any similar software that is going to give you all the configuration and a simple user friendly control panel as well. So go ahead and download it from Apache, French.org or any other similar software, MAM, MAMPINFO, there are lots of. Okay, and then it's available for every operating system, Windows, Linux and Mac. Okay, so go ahead and download it for your operating system, install it. For Windows user, go ahead and click on it here, download it and say, so in order to download it you simply click save and then install it's a very simple process if you need help with with xmp installation i've already created a video go ahead and watch that video and that will help you install xmp on microsoft windows 10. so here we are i already have xmp on this system which is here go ahead and launch the xmp control panel and then run Apache the server and MySQL server for database as well and that's two things you need now the other thing we will require the Joomla okay the package so go to joomla.org on your preferred browser and then you can click on this download button or you can go to download and extend and then click downloads here and here on this page we've got two options this is the latest stable version of joomla that is 3.9.13 4 will be released very soon and then this is for a, this is an upgrade package if you're already running 2.x whatever joomla it is uh, 2.x5 or whatever uh, then you can upgrade your 2.0 x in joomla to 3 okay so this is for people who want to upgrade to 3 this is for new installation so go ahead and click on it and here we are so save it wherever you want to save it i'm going to save it on desktop i already have downloaded and it's available on the desktop so i'm going to say cancel however you have to say save and then locate the folder after the download is done like this this is 3.9.13 and then you have to extract it so you can use default extractor like windows extractor it's going to take a bit longer i've got 7-zip i can go ahead and do it very quickly with it so simply go ahead and do it well whichever one works for you extract all or 7-zip or any other similar software so go ahead and extract like this and this is going to take a minute or two depending on what extractor you are using okay so it's going to be here and then in the meanwhile what we can do we can go ahead and check the localhost server which is Apache so go to localhost and hit enter and here we have what we get with XM 
So we've got PHP info. Go ahead and uh, right click and open it in a new tab. So we've got PHP 7.3.9 and a lot of extension that we need for PHP development environment. Okay, so you can go ahead and have a look at that page and we also get php my admin which lets you basically i open this php my admin in a new tab so this lets you manage your database you can simply go ahead and create a database and we will create very soon so here we are we already have extracted the june folder which is here now i'm going i'm going to just open it and put it aside so in order to install Joomla you simply have to download Joomla extract it okay and these are the folder uh, folders and files that we need for installation now what we're going to do we're going to get into the XM server so go to C drive I'm going to just maximize it go to C drive wherever your XM or similar software is installed and then go to XM and then this is the folder that you're looking for htdocs so within this xm folder you look for htdocs and here you can simply take everything from here and put in a new folder within this htdocs so let's go ahead and create a new folder i'm going to save it uh june 3 okay and so this is completely optional whatever name you want to give it you can give then i'm in here june 3 so now i'm going to select everything from here from the joomla extractor folder and copy over to june 3 folder and it shouldn't take long time so we have 27 files and folders all of them are in in this june 3 folder and I'm not sure why it's taking a bit longer. So once it's there, we will go ahead and it's done. So I can go ahead and close this one, close this one as well, and go to installation process. So simply go to localhost slash and the name of the folder that we have given to this htdoc folder for Joomla. So I've given Joom3, I'm going to hit enter now. And this is going to be the actual installation process for Joomla okay so we need to give it a name so I'm going to say Joom test and site with Joomla 3 okay here we go oops 3 email address okay because this is a local installation so I'm going to give it a fake email address a username is going to be admin a password is going to be admin confirm it admin site offline it is recommended to keep it offline uh, but by default it's on okay so that would not hamper your process of installation so you can leave it on or off doesn't matter then you go to next here we will require the database uh, this is basically a database type so how you want to connect to the database these are php extensions this is recommended one okay pdo which is the latest one so with 7.3 you already have pdo or anything above i think 5.6 or 7 you already have pdo with xmp you already have it configured and on okay then we have localhost which is host name we need a database username so for this phpm admin the username is going to be root uh, we do not have any password so i'm going to keep it empty then we need a database name so i'm going to create a database here quickly so go to localhost slash phpm admin and hit new i'm going to save it in june 3 that's the name of the database and collation select here collation if it's not then create so we have june 3 already here 
database name is going to be the same June 3 whatever name you have given uh, table prefix I'm going to say JM okay that is completely option old database process backup or remove so I do not have any database I can leave it as it is and then hit next here are a few options okay you can go with sample data for your requirement just completely nothing uh, brochure English Great Britain English sample data default let's see uh, we are trying to create a blog email configuration perfectly fine let's go ahead and see the main configuration site offline no that's your preference okay database configuration you can see pdo mysql that is going to be php extension it's already there okay local host that's the host name username uh, database name prefix backup okay perfect pre-installation check these are the required extensions you already have and recommended setting uh, recommended off 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 not a problem and here we go and say install shouldn't take a long time simple process and so in the meanwhile basically it's creating a database as well so if you want to go ahead and have a look at this you simply go ahead and click on June 3 and these are the database that it just created now let's go back to the installation congratulations Joomla is installed on there's one more step that you need to do we need to go ahead and remove this installation folder okay so you can click here to remove it or you can go to uh, the June 3 folder under HDRX and you can see uh, where is installation so here is it is okay you can delete from here or simply click on remove and you can see installation folder removed okay now you have two options you can go to site you can go ahead and check it I just opened it in um, in a new folder you can also go to local host slash the name of the folder so my folder name will June 3 that's what it is to log in to administrator you simply click on this administrator uh, or you simply say localhost slash folder name and then slash administrator enter your username and password and hit login and you are in here so once or never permission to collect some basic statistics so that's all people thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions question in from the installation process of joomla please leave in the comment section i will try to answer it asap thank you so much for watching it again and have a good day. Bye.